We are gonna do some shredding today with a flail mower. We have these stalks here behind us, kind of left over from last year's food plot screen. We're gonna to start to put a little mowed path around this field as well. We're still figuring out how to use this property and what we wanna do, but I don't have a coat on today, if you didn't notice. It's like 40 some degrees out, sun is shining. It's officially spring, I'm feeling good. Got a brand new funny top mower right here. Brand new because the last two years that I've had these, I've had to end up selling mine. They, they're just in very high demand. So we order more every year and every year so far we sell out. So fantastic mower, manual offset. You can run it just centered behind your tractor or you can offset it to the side as well. This is the smallest, lightest series of flails that we carry for subcompacts and small compact tractors like the Summit. Gonna be the first time using it on this Summit tractor as well. Uh, 62 inches of cutting width. The overall width is uh, six to 10 inches wider than that just for uh, the belts and, and gearing and bearings and all that kind of stuff. Love the compact nature. Again, look, I mean, here's the end of your three point. One step and you're at the back of the mower. That's pretty awesome compared to the brush hog out here. Obviously there's a price difference as well. We've gone over the pros and cons in some other videos too, but I love flail mowers, a lot of you guys do too. I'm excited to get to work. I like mowing this time of year. Before everything starts growing, you kind of get to reset and start over. And in general, it's a good time to get out and walk your property. And you know, every year it creeps up on you. You think you got all sorts of time and you think you'll be able to easily see your land after all the leaves fill out and everything fills in and you just can't. It's a good time to get out and really assess what you have going on and kind of have that clean slate before everything starts popping up. And, that's what we did today is actually where this, this food plot screen is. We're going to shift it a little bit, get it more in line with uh, the clump of trees that's right next to that, that deer blind. Probably going to end up moving that. I don't know. Got a lot of things going on. But uh, I think where we chop down that screen, we're going to end up somewhere right in that area, uh, putting stone down and making that kind of a, a row for tractor attachments. And we'll have to repeat that in a couple other areas too, but just really trying to get some organization done this year. Last year was just chaos, and you can tell that because it's just kind of chaos with all the attachments all over the place, but this is gonna be the year of organization. And so that's what we're gonna tackle there. And then we're trying to figure out what to do with these other pastures. We don't have animals. I think we know what we're gonna do with one. We're gonna put a soccer field in there, but the one that we're mowing the walking trail around today, well, we gotta open up certain areas of this fence a little bit just to kind of connect sections of the walking trail too and it's hard to do that right now it's kind of just closed off in its own thing there's not a gate on the south end of the property where we're standing right now and right near where that food plot screen was the north end of the pasture and so the opposite end is where there's no opening we got to figure that out where all those pine trees are and all that kind of thing but uh, we really want to utilize this property to its fullest extent and got a lot of ideas and those change with time and, and you know how that goes but something I realized when I hopped back on the tractor and used a flail mower was the fact that I forgot how quiet those things are. They just operate very quietly and smoothly and even when they're running things over, now the times when it is loud, I, I caught rocks. And maybe the camera picked that up, I don't know if it did or not, but maybe the sound will too, but I caught rocks two or three times and uh, you can definitely tell when that happens and those hammer blades well, they're on, they're on a little swivel, okay? That bolt that holds them on swivels around. So um, as it hits them, it does give right away on that rotor as it's passing by. And so it's, it's, it's forgiving in that regard. Uh, there's belts on the flail mower as well. That's the driveline protection or the belts that are on there too. But also, whether it's the hammer blades or the Y blades, they're all on those little individual bolts. And so they swivel and let things pass by uh, very quickly that way and it protects it itself. If you do break a blade, which I haven't yet, we, we've had some customers that have broken them here and there, um, they are individually replaceable. You don't have to go and replace all of them. You can just you know, get a handful of extras if you want to. So unsurprisingly, a really good fit. Um, you know, Sometimes you hypothesize and think that a certain size attachment is gonna work well on a machine, even if you haven't used it. Um, <laughs> so it's nice to legitimize that. And I can say that today, the 62 inch 
not much of a surprise. We use the 62 inch on the 1025R as well, which is a subcompact uh, 25 horsepower tractor. This is a compact 25 horsepower tractor, so a little bit bigger frame size, beefier. We've told you all about it before too, with all the extra features that it comes with. But the tractor's really growing on me, and this is just another application that it excelled at. Folks, so these flail mowers are top three, top four, top five most popular attachments we sell. I would say they're not higher up on the list because we constantly sell out. We have to order what we ordered for this year. We had to order it last summer, okay? So we're doing a lot of predictions and kind of conservative predictions. I'd rather sell out, I guess, than have a bunch of extra inventory on hand, but very popular for good reason. Now, this is the smallest series. We do have larger series as well. We have them with hydraulic offset, hydraulic offset, and hydraulic tilt. So you need to have extra rear remotes on the back of your machine if you want to do that. Um, but check it out on the website. A lot of different series. If you aren't sure what to get, just send us an email. We'll get back to you. Just give us your tractor, make your model. If you do have the rear remotes on there too, let us know that and we'll get you set up with the right mower for your machine. And of course, we sell and ship these all over the country. We include free shipping to most of the country, rewards and financing too. So check it out, not just these mowers, but anything you need for your three-point hitch or your front end loader. Goodworkstractors.com. And if you enjoyed today's video, you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button down below. Completely free, we'd love to have you tag along. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon.